Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over Elite Code Medium, uh, which is uh, 1026, and uh, maximum difference between Node and Ancestor. So we're given some tree. We have to find the maximum value uh, such that there are two different nodes, A and B, and the absolute difference between them. So a node A is an ancestor of B if either any child of A is equal to B or any child, blah, 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 blah. So uh, in brief, uh, if we delete this, really all they're asking is the maximum difference between two nodes that are in the same branch, right? Uh, so the reason why they phrase it this way is you can't just find the maximum node in this tree and the minimum in this node in this tree and have that be the answer. We're kind of kind of do that, but you have to make sure they're in the same branch. And to verify that, we're gonna uh, use recursion and kind of like bubble them through parameters. So we're gonna have a helper method here and I'm gonna call this uh, int and I'm just gonna call it helper, not very original. And we're gonna have some root, some current node, and we're gonna also keep track of the min and the max. So we'll have int min and int max. So this will be the current minimum and the current maximum. So basically here, and let's check uh, the number of nodes in the trees in the range of two to 5,000. Okay, just wanted to make sure these constraints were correct. And basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna start this off at the beginning node, so we're just going to return our helper, and we're going to uh, pass in root, and the minimum is actually going to be integer dot min value, and then the maximum is going to be sorry, this would be uh, max value, and the integer would be integer dot min value. So we started off like this because right now we don't have a minimum, so we just want to set that to be the max. We don't have a max, so we set this to be the min. So basically, like anything will be the max after that. So now what we want to do is if root is equal to so we're looking for the maximum difference right so basically we want to find uh, the maximum difference so really we're just going to check the min and max and we are going to find the max of the differences between them which would just be max minus min always so what we're going to do here is the base case if root is equal to null we're just going to return integer dot min value and we do this because uh, it's terminated now and we know that this actually we're not going to be taking this as the maximum difference uh, so then what we want to do is we want to get the current max basically the current max value so let's set the new min and the new max so min will be equal to math dot min current minimum and this value that we're on We'll take that, do the same for max. So this will find the new max and the new min of the current branch that we're on. So we're comparing it with the current root and the current min and the current max that we've seen. So then now what we do is we know that the maximum difference we've seen in this branch is going to be max minus min. But we also have to search the left and right subtrees as well. So really, we're just going to return the max between the left and right subtrees and the current. So what we want to do here is we're going to have basically, uh, let's do the left and right. So we're going to go uh, left is equal to helper root dot left uh, min max because this is the current. Pass those through and we're going to do that to the right as well. And we know that we also need int here, int, and these are assignments so they're fine. Uh, so then, now that we've calculated the left and right subtrees, uh, we need to compare these also with the current max minus min. So we're going to return math.max, uh, max minus min, and also the max between, uh, basically not only that, but we also want the left and right. So we're finding the absolute max difference. So at this current node, we're assuming max minus min is the current, and we also want to compare it with the left and right result. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, cannot find symbol. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, <laughs> misspelled integer. Okay, let's run this. And yeah, it looks like that's pretty good. Let's submit it. And it looks like it's 100%, so that's pretty good. So kind of, it is medium, so maybe it prompts me to explain this further and reiterate. Basically, we have a helper. Uh, we keep track of the mix, maxes and the mins we've seen on this branch as we go. 
we assume we've not seen a min and max yet, so that's why we set them like this. Uh, if it's null, we just return minimum value because we shouldn't calculate a max here. So we're just gonna like, we return minimum because everything will be bigger than this. Uh, we get the current min and max compared with the root, root dot value. So basically we're calculating new min max. Then we get the left and right, which is just recursively calling these down the left and right, passing in the min and max. Then we return a math.max of three different things, uh, the current, and then left and right. So that's good, let's talk about time and space. Uh, time is just on, we're just visiting every single node. Um, nothing to see there. Uh, space, um, this is recursive, so if you wanna call the call stack as space, it's technically just o depth of tree, uh, because that's the maximum call stack that we'll be using up is the biggest depth of the tree. Uh, we're not storing any extra space beyond that. If you don't call recursive, recursive call stack, then it would be O of 1, but I like to call it that. So yeah, I hope this made sense. Uh, thank you for watching.